Hello everyone. Welcome to BISP Solution. My name is Shubham Temre. In today's session, we will cover Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Common Configuration Part 6 Currency. So currency, what is currency? A currency is a standardization of money in any form in use or circulation as a medium of exchange. So currency, uh, okay. Now the currency is the one of the C while defining ledger in our uh, Oracle Fusion application. In the upcoming videos, we will see how many types of C's are there in Oracle Fusion supply chain management application. Each ledger has a functional currency, which primary reporting currency for group of organization. For every transaction, Oracle stores amount in entered currency. What is intercurrency? Intercurrency is the currency of the transaction and the functional currency. Functional currency is the equivalent in the functional currency of the ledger. Okay. Okay. Now next is the currency is always associated with the ledger even if it is primary ledger or the secondary ledger. Okay. In, in Oracle Fusion application, we no need to create any currency in the instance. All currency is given by Oracle. We have to ensure that the whatever the currency we require, we require, we have to make sure that that's already enabled. If currency is enabled, then only you can use that currency at the time of primary ledger creation or at the time of recording the transaction. So make sure that whatever the currency you require that is enabled in the instance. So let's go to the instance. Login as Tata user, click on setting and action, click on setup and maintenance, now click on task list, manage implementation project, click on Tata implementation project, we have either task option, search task as manage currencies okay. search okay yeah diff we have different path for the currency like order management path financial related path procurement related path okay let's go with procurement you can select any of the path select as now procurement based path click on it now click on manage currencies click on go to task icon you can see manage currency page over here okay now you can search for any currency code for example search as usd Click on search button. Okay. Currency code is USD. Currency name is US dollar. In description, we have US dollar. We have to keep in mind that the checks box is al uh, always be enabled. Okay. This check in the manage currency tab, we have to ensure that the check box is enabled always. Now, let's for INR search okay INR currency code is INR currency name is Indian rupee description Indian rupee that is enable so any currency you can search or you can find that is enable over here okay now search is at blank that's all the currencies Okay, all the currencies are enabled. Yes, you can, you can see that the, all the currencies are enabled in the instance. So what are the currency we require to record the transaction? Verify that those are enabled or not. Are not. By default, Oracle enable all the currency. When you get to access fresh instance for implementation project, we no need to enable any currency all the currency oracle is uh, oracle is enabled and providing so whatever currency we require we can use now in case of ebs 
we have to enable all the currency but in case of oracle fusion application oracle is enable all the currencies since oracle is providing this currency this we called is seeded data in the same way geography information we have already seen in our previous lecture so this is all about managed currencies in oracle fusion supply chain management thanks for watching the video thank you